What if Tim Duncan decided to join the Orlando Magic in free agency back in 2000? Yup, according to Hill, the Magic tried recruiting Duncan in free agency. The team actually offered him a six-year, $67.5 million deal. But coach Doc Rivers, not allowing family to travel on the team plane, swayed Duncan to stay with the Spurs. And we all know how that turned out. But what if Doc didn't have that role? What if one of the greatest power forwards, if not the greatest of all time, crossed over to the Eastern Conference? How would history have changed? Well, let's go back. Okay, so back in the year 2000, Tim Duncan was fresh off his first title win against my Knicks. If Duncan decided to go to Orlando, he would have paired with a budding superstar in T-Mac, and those two would have been a problem. Remember, this was T-Mac about to enter his prime. Finally, out of his cousin Vince Carter's shadow in Toronto, poised to show the world he's a superstar. Now remember, Grant Hill would join the Orlando Magic that year as well. But unfortunately, he got bit by the injury bug and played only 47 games in his first four years with the team. Now I'm sure Orlando would have brought in role players to complement their dynamic duo in Duncan and T-Mac. They definitely would have made a deep playoff push instead of getting bounced from the opening round three years straight. Imagine they reached the finals in 2000 or 01 or 02. T-Mac versus Kobe, Duncan versus Shaq would have been a movie every night. Who's to say the Lakers 3 P? They probably don't. Maybe, just maybe Orlando wins one of those titles or two or all three. Now, obviously the Spurs would not have won without Duncan in 03. Instead, Orlando would have beaten the Mavs in the finals that year for sure. And David Robinson would probably retire with just one ring in 99 versus my Knicks. Now the 04 conference finals between the Pistons and the Magic would have been a crazy matchup. That's a toss up, I don't know, who, who do you think wins that one? Wallace versus Tim Duncan, they're putting Tayshaun Prince on T-Mac. Regardless of how it went down, Orlando would not have had the number one pick in the 04 draft, meaning Dwight Howard does not go to Orlando. He would have gone to the Bobcats. Now, if Tim Duncan did go to Orlando, T-Mac would for sure have at least one ring on his resume. And by the way, T-Mac would be on cloud nine in Orlando with one of the best power forwards in the league. He would not be traded to the Houston Rockets for Steve Francis, no way. Meaning, the 13 points in 33 seconds would not have happened, which ironically happened versus Tim Duncan and the Spurs. By the way, in 0405, Grant Hill was back and in all-star form. In 05, Orlando definitely would have won the NBA Finals that year, not the duncan -less Spurs. And remember, at that point, all the elite big men in the league were in the Western Conference. So Tim Duncan in the East, plus a prime team act, sprinkle in some role players, that is a recipe for a dynasty, my friends. The Magic definitely would have won two, maybe three rings. Safe to say the Spurs would not have won a title in 07 or in 2014 without Tim Duncan. Would Tony Parker and Manu Ginobili and Coach Pop in Hall of Famers? Probably, but who knows? I mean, in reality, Duncan won five rings in San Antonio. Does he win more in Orlando? Does he win less? Does he win the same? Would Duncan and McGrady be up there with the greatest one-two combos of all time? For sure. If Duncan was in Orlando, that means less conference matchups with Chris Webber, Kevin Garnett, Dirk Nowitzki, Amari Stoudemire. I mean, we would've been deprived. Thank God he stayed with the Spurs. But hey, Doc Rivers had his rule, Duncan stayed with the Spurs, and the Orlando Magic still haven't won a title to this day. Oh, and as we know, Duncan had quite the career in San Antonio, so I doubt he has any regrets. Hands down, the greatest Spur of all time. But hey, Nothing wrong with a little what if.